Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video, we'll discuss the torsional rigidity of a wire. Now, <clears throat> we'll consider a fact that there is a wire which is uh, fixed on the roof and it is hanging from the roof. Its length is L, its radius is R. This is the cross-sectional view of this wire. So as you can see that if this wire is fixed on the roof and we are applying a twisting force on this wire F. So due to this twisting force, this wire will uh, bend slightly like that. So it will twist by an angle of theta. So this is angle of twist and due to this twist, it would also <coughs> create an angle of phi which is shearing angle shear angle at the top so you can imagine that if this point let's suppose a is shifted till a dash at this point this is angle theta so this point the line connecting this a from the top and the line connecting this a dash from the top will be shifted on this face this is a a dash and therefore for a small shift for a small twist angle we can say that a a dash <coughs> is equal to r theta and a a dash <coughs> is also equal to l phi and for a small twist angle this r theta will be equal to l phi so this phi, which is the shear angle, will be equal to r theta by L. Okay, where theta is the twist angle. Now, we can say that <coughs> due to this twisting force, this wire is twisted from the bottom and the top face of the wire is at rest. So there will be a shear stress produced in this wire which would be bringing back this wire into its original configuration and that restoring stress would be bringing back this wire from this point a uh, from a dash to a again so you can just imagine that uh, we are twisting a rubber band <clears throat> a thick rubber band we are twisting or we are twisting a rod of rubber which is hanging from the ceiling so if we twist the lower end of the, that rubber rod, then uh, after removal of our external force, that lower end will try to regain its original position. So that restoring uh, stress uh, will be equal to <coughs> shear stress. And we can say that shear stress is equal to a modulus of rigidity neta into shear strain which is phi this phi is also the shear strain we have already discussed about the shear strain so shear stress let's suppose it is t is equal to neta r theta by l this is the equation number one now now this shear stress would be produced in the complete wire and to find out <coughs> the torque developed due to this shear stress let us consider <coughs> the cross section again and let us consider <coughs> a ring elemental ring like that and another element which creates a strip of width dx and radius x so you can see that that shear stress developed in the complete solid wire will be developed in this part also and that shear stress would be producing a restoring torque to bring back this wire into its original shape or size. So, 
if we find out the total force restoring force force in the elemental ring or in the strip which we have considered that will be equal to stress into area of the strip and area of the strip is 2 pi x dx so i have uh, calculated the total restoring force developed in this strip uh, due to twisting and the torque developed in the strip will be equal to this restoring force into this radius of strip x so the torque will be t into 2 pi x dx into x now if we <laughs> substitute the value of t which we have already calculated nita r theta by l this is nita r theta by l this is uh, the stress and this r in this case will be equal to x because this radius is x so d tau will be equal to this is x and this is 2 pi x square dx okay so the total torque will be integration of nita theta by l into 2 pi into x cube dx and the limit of this will be 0 to r for the solid wire we'll discuss about the hollow wire also in this video at the end so nita theta into 2 pi by l and this is x ki par 4 by 4 so limit would be from 0 to r so torque will be equal to nita theta into 2 pi by 4 l into r to the power 4 this is equal to torque now we know that <coughs> this torque twisting torque is also equal to c theta where c is the torsional constant so if we equate with nita theta into pi r to the power 4 by 2l then cancelling this theta with theta this c is equal to nita pi r to the power 4 by 2l okay so this is the torsion constant of a wire which has one of its cross section fixed and the other cross section free now if we consider that <coughs> for a hollow wire of inner radius r1 and outer radius r r2 so let's suppose it is a hollow wire of inner radius r1 and outer radius r2 so <clears throat> that derivation will remain the same in fact uh, there would be a small change in the derivation and that change would be the fact that we have to integrate now from limit r1 to r2 instead of 0 to r so again integrating this term in which tau is equal to integration r1 to r2 and that was nita theta pi x cube dx by l nita theta pi x cube dx by l so nita theta pi by l is constant and this is 2l in fact okay so 2l would be no this is l only now integrating this it will yield as uh, there will be a 2 also here <coughs> in this term 2 pi so there will be a 2 also so x ki par 4 by 4 will be the integration and limit will be from r1 to r2 
सो दिस इज नीटा थीटा पाए बाय टू एल नाउ आई हैव कैंसिल्ड दिस टू विद फोर एंड द लिमिट वुड बी आर टू द पार आर टू टू द पार फोर माइनस आर वन टू द पार फोर ओके सो इफ वी इक्वेट दिस टोटल टॉर्क अगेन विद सी थीटा सो सी विल बी इक्वल टू नीटा पाए बाय टू एल इन टू आर टू दी पार फोर माइनस आर वन टू दी पार फोर सो दिस इज द टोरोजन कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर अ हॉलो वायर ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल डिस्कस अ फैक्ट दैट वाई the shaft of the cars is made up of hollow cylinder or we'll discuss the fact that why hollow cylinder is tougher to twist as compared to the solid cylinder thank you hello guys welcome on tesla edu ventures in this video we are discussing the toughness of a solid rod and a hollow hollow rod or a solid cylinder versus a hollow cylinder more uh, people most of the people assume that solid cylinder solid cylindrical rod is more tougher than the hollow cylindrical rod but in this video we'll prove that hollow cylindrical rod is more tougher than the solid cylindrical rod in fact if we uh, compare two rods one of them is hollow and one of them is solid and uh, they are of same material and equal mass then we will see that hollow cylinder would be more tougher and it would be more difficult to twist the hollow cylinder and due to the same fact most of the shaft in a vehicle or and mainly the shaft connecting the tires of the car is uh, made up of hollow shaft hollow cylinder because it is tougher so so let us we have already discussed that the torsional constant c <coughs> is equal to nita pi r ke par 4 upon 2l this we have already discussed in the previous video you can see and this is for hollow cylinder so for hollow cylinder it is c dash is nita pi r2 ke par 4 minus r1 to the par 4 <laughs> now let us assume that the outer radius of both of them is same this is r2 okay so the outer radius is same i am assuming and the inner radius of the hollow cylinder is r1 now if their masses are same then mass of this cylinder will be density into volume and its volume would be pi r2 square into l and the mass of this cylinder would be rho into pi r2 square minus r1 square into l so cancelling these terms you can see that r2 square is equal to r2 square minus r1 square or you can again assume it as r that would be no problem it would be simpler for the ease of calculation so let us assume it as r and this would be also equal to r <laughs> now now if we divide c dash and c then we can say that nita into pi upon 2l would be Uh, cancelled out and here it would be by 2l so it would be cancelled out nita pi by 2l and c dash upon c will be r2 to the power 4 minus r1 to the power 4 upon r to the power 4 now we can write this as r2 square minus r1 square into r2 square plus r1 square divided by r to the power 4 which is r square into r square now we know that this r square is equal to r2 square minus r1 square so we can cancel out this and this so this is r2 square plus r1 square upon r square so you can see that r2 square if we consider the fact that outer diameter of both the uh, cylinders is same therefore r2 will be equal to r and therefore this term Will be will be greater than one. So c dash 
upon C will be greater than 1, which means C dash is greater than C. So the torsional constant of hollow cylinder is greater than the torsional constant of solid cylinder, which automatically means that it is tougher to twist the hollow cylinder and as compared to the uh, solid cylinder if their density and mass is same. So this <coughs> was a very important fact and due to this fact the shaft connecting the wheels of that car or a vehicle is made up of hollow cylinder. So in the next video we will be discussing some more brilliant concepts of solids and elasticity. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.